Hi guys! Okay, first of all, oh my god, it is so hot. It's 31 degrees Fahrenheit today. Uh, sorry, 31 degrees Celsius today, which is like 88 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the heat outside. Like, we just got blasted. We went from basically cool, cold weather to hot. And this is the day that my AC decided to stop working. So you can imagine how hot it is in here. I've just got this tripod set up in my bedroom. It's on my bed, so it might be a little bouncy as I move. I've got a fan going in here just trying to stay cool, and I want to tell you the story. Because yesterday was my birthday, as some of you may have seen. Um, I ended up posting the video a little bit late that I had for my birthday because of what happened. And um, this is not clickbait. I, oh, and why am I laughing? Because I do laugh when I get sort of nervous sometimes. Um, but I actually literally almost died on my birthday. And this is a food story, which is, you know, um, even more frustrating because people with food allergies and sometimes whether it's the establishment you go to, they don't take it seriously. Uh, I can tell you a story about that. But, um, or accidents happen and then you know you inadvertently try something and here you go problems. So I'm allergic to, sh to shellfish. I'm also allergic to penicillin and um, I found out both of those things at the same time I think because I'd had a reaction to shellfish when I was working at Red Lobster when I was younger and then I had to be taking all these, I think I had to take some shots. Anyway I got penicillin I had like a full black blown, bull, like very bad reaction. Um, required six weeks of steroid medication uh, like six doses a day of prednisone and then like weaning myself off little by little. Anyway, so yeah, I'm allergic to shellfish and I went out for dinner for my birthday, which was really nice. I like going to this place called Mother Tucker's and I like it because they have an array of amazing salads and you know, like noodles without anything on there and they can make you like a rice or a noodle bowl with veggies. So as a vegan, I mean, I, there's hardly any real place I can go to eat. As my brother said to me yesterday, when I was talking about a place he'd suggested, he's like, well, you know, you've chosen to be vegan, so, you know, like, uh, most places just don't serve this. And I'm like, yeah, well, I see things a little bit differently. I think that every major restaurant should be offering something plant-based, because that's the way things are changing, or at least if, even to satisfy the vegetarians and vegans out there. You're losing a lot of business. Anyway. So Mother Tucker's is great. It's got, like, barley salads, quinoa salads, kale like noodle salads, all that kind of, you know, beautiful salad stuff, and then you can get potatoes, you can like get a, a bowl, like I said, with noodles or rice and veggies. So I did that, and in any case, there was a possibility of some cross-contamination at the noodle station um, with regards to sh some shrimp, but as I was talking to the guy about being vegan, and the dairy that he said could have possibly, like the, the dairy ladle was above the coconut milk one, and maybe a drop might have gotten in there or something, and I said, well, I'm not allergic to, to dairy, like it's not going to kill me, but I am allergic to shrimp. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I better change this bowl then because I'm like to completely change the tongs because there could have easily been some cross-contamination and that's bad for you. So anyway, happened to have that talk with him, talked about it at the table, you know, the one time in the, the past when my throat started to close up when I had eaten something that uh, they'd also apparently cooked shrimp on the same grill. And then a friend of mine had wanted me to drop by her place, you know, for a birthday, like, nightcap kind of thing. And after I dropped my other friend home, I went to her place, and she had picked up um, a rice, like an Asian rice bowl for me with tofu. Now, I had ordered that with her before when we were out, so it's why she thought to go to that place. And, um, you know, she knows I'm vegan, so this is where I don't know what happened. But on top of it was all of the nice sautéed, like whatever, the tofu, how they make it. And I wasn't fully hungry, like an hour and a half had passed, or two hours since dinner, but I decided I would like eat a little bit and I could take the rest home, like save it for today, why not, right? So I took a bite, like the, the, the mouthful of the tofu, and then as I ate it I thought, I don't know, something just doesn't seem right about that. And then I kind of started looking through the bowl, like, you know, with my fork, and then I see something that looks like a little shrimp. I'm like, is that shrimp? And then I look again, I'm, there's more shrimp. I said, I'm allergic to shrimp. I, and she's like, oh my god, I didn't know you were allergic to shrimp. I said, yeah, I, I'm like seriously allergic to shrimp. And then my, my mouth starts tingling, like at this side, like I feel the tingling in here along my lip. 
And then I'm like, okay, maybe it's in my head. Because I had recently spoken with someone who said, you know, sometimes after a number of your ears, your allergies might just change and they might go away. And of course, I never ate shellfish because I grew up Adventist. I mean, I found out I was allergic because I worked at uh, Red Lobster. And I've just been vigilant typically about saying to places like I can't have anything if it's come into contact with shellfish at all. So I was like, for a split second, maybe this is in my head. But of course, like within like a minute or so, the feeling spreads to my throat, the tingling, then my throat starts to close up, I'm swallowing, it's like taking me a while to swallow, swallowing with difficulty, and I don't have an EpiPen. This is really bad. I'm going to get a prescription absolutely like tomorrow. Um, but I said to my friend, do you have Benadryl? Because that's the one thing they say, if you have an allergic reaction, you should take some Benadryl like immediately. And she didn't have it, but there was a drugstore that was open till midnight, thank God, that was like five minutes from the house. So we got in the car quickly, drove down there, and as we drive, my throat's getting worse. Now it feels like there's all kinds of pins and prickles as I swallow, and it's like, take I can't, not, can't speak properly. I'm like, you know, and like the prickle, the prickling sensation, and I was like, oh my God, this is really bad. And I thought, like, I'm, I'm not the kind of person who says, oh, I should run to the ER. But, you know, I probably, well, in fact, I should have gone to the ER and I was told this by a nurse later. But anyway, so we get to the pharmacy and I tell him, I said, look, thank God the pharmacist was there too. I said, this is what happened. I said, my, my throat's closing up. It's hard to swallow. I'm saying all this with some difficulty. I've been trying to drink water. Uh, and he said, buy this, take two immediately. He said, if in 15 minutes you don't feel better, go to emergency. So I took two of those pills and probably like within 15 minutes, I wasn't really feeling a lot better. Not really too, but marginally better. Like I could see I, I was like a little bit better than I was before. Maybe the prickling was not as bad. And I sent my friend a text and she's like an RPN. And I said, this is what happened. Should I go to the emergency? And she said, well, you've had two Benadryl. I don't know if you should go. But maybe she wasn't just as aware, like maybe a, another a nurse, pr proper nurse would have said, yeah, go. Anyway, I sat with my friends and I was kind of like, we were on the fence. Do I go? Do I not go? I kind of watched it every five minutes. It was getting a little bit better, a little bit better, but not a lot better, but still it was better. So like the prickling and the pain, that went away. But I, st and then eventually, probably after 40 minutes, I felt the swelling kind of more on just this side, like on the right side of my throat. Um, now the Benadryl was kicking in, so I was tired. So this was the other thing. It was like, I, my health card was in like a little pouch I have, which I think was either at my house at home and I didn't have it in my car, which I should have, but I'm like, okay, let me go home and let me just see. And of course, when I went home, I decided to look up online, you know, what happens in these situations or what did they give you at the hospital? And I found an article that said why every anaphylactic reaction requires a trip to the emergency. I'm like, oh, oh my God, I just left my friends and they were falling asleep themselves. And my mom was asleep, uh, but I decided to call Telehealth Ontario. And I went through this, you know, the situation with the, the, the nurse on the line. And I told her that, because now, by now it was probably two and a half hours since it had happened. I think like by the time I got home, because I stayed for a while and after it was feeling better, like, it, like I said, it took at least 45 minutes before I felt somewhat better and I stayed for a little bit longer and it felt better but not amazingly better. So two and a half hours later I was um, still feeling the swelling on this side of my throat. So I explained that and the nurse was very concerned. She said the fact that you took the two Benadryl you shouldn't be having any symptoms right now. So she wanted to call the ambulance to take me to the hospital and I'm like oh you know what I'll just wake up my mom. And then I went to wake to see my wake up my mother but she was out cold and I thought oh god do I really need to go to the hospital like I was just feeling like let me monitor this because it feels like it keeps getting better and she did say it does sound like it's 80 percent better but you can never be certain I also had some kind of nausea feeling in my stomach which is apparently like you could be vomiting as one of your reactions but I just thought um I don't know this is not this is not the smart thing and I'm not going to do it if it ever happens again I probably stayed up like another hour and after that, while I still felt the swelling, I, swallowing was a lot easier and I just thought, okay, I'm probably not gonna die. You know, I, that's what I thought and I'm not dead, so here I am. But I'm, I'm agreeing like that was probably not the best thing to do. 
I mean, like, I still feel like a little bit of uh, irritation right now. Anyway, so um, it was pretty scary. And what the nurse said to me, she said, you were very smart to take that Benadryl. She said, if you did not take that Benadryl based on how I described what I experienced, she said, this could have ended up, you know, as a fatality for you. And she said also that uh, another reaction, like a subsequent reaction, could be even worse. So clearly I'm still allergic to shellfish. Um, I wish I didn't have the allergy. And you know, it's the kind of thing where <laughs> as a vegan, it just, it, it's hard sometimes to eat out at non-vegan establishments or buy stuff from non-vegan establishments when you just don't know. Because my friend said she told them a tofu bowl. And I'm thinking, why would you put shrimp in a tofu bowl? I don't know if they made a mistake because sometimes people think that you're, um, you know, sometimes people just never remember, oh, vegans don't eat fish, but, you know, she knows I'm vegan, so she should have said that, I'm sure. And there was a mistake made. So they gave her something, and of course the shrimp wasn't on top for me to be able to clearly see, oh, hey, danger, danger. No, the shrimp was underneath, in, mixed in with the rice, but it had all been cooked together. So one bite, one bite, and that was my reaction. So... Uh, and it was my birthday, so, you know, I said to my friends, oh my god, you guys, like, literally nearly could have killed me on my birthday. And it's just weird. I mean, it's really weird because it was pretty frightening. Um, it's a frightening feeling when your throat is closing up, and I'm just... If I were a different kind of person, I would have said, let's go to emergency first, but I think taking the Benadryl first would have still been the best thing. Because to get to the emergency without the Benadryl, you know, the hospital might be 15 minutes away. That could have been a very bad scenario for me. So guys, I am still here, and it's why it's so important to check, double check, triple check what you order. Um, there was a time when the same friend, her daughter had a, she had something at a restaurant for her. And I typically don't like Asian places that have a lot of shellfish because, like, it's just a dangerous spot for me, like, because I'm allergic. So I went, and they're cooking stuff on the grill. I'm like, okay, I can't eat any of this, but you could order like a, a tofu bowl. So I asked, I said, first of all, I'm vegan. Is there anything in there that's non-vegan? And he said, well, they do make it with an oyster sauce. I said, well, I'm allergic to shellfish. I can't have that. They brought me out the bowl. And I'm glad the, the waiter was honest. I said, this has no oyster sauce, just a soy sauce. He said, well, actually, it does have oyster sauce in it. I said, I told you, A, I can't eat that because I'm vegan. Or, A, I have allergies, but B, I'm vegan, like, I can't have that. And he said, oh, well, you know, one time we had another woman say she was allergic to shellfish, and we made it with that, and she ate it, and she was fine. Oh, well, gee, golly gee, thanks, guy. Like, you know, you could literally kill me with that because you guys want to experiment and see if I'm really allergic. I said, well, I can't eat that, and I won't pay for that. So if you guys will make another one without that, I'll eat it. So he took it back, and they made me something else. But, like, like the mindset of some people, and... You remember the um, the article about the, the chef earlier this year who deliberately put dairy into the vegan's uh, food at her restaurant. I mean, people who have a life or death reaction to certain foods, like no chef, no company that you're paying your money to should ever gamble with your life just for what? I don't know, fun? Like they should take the word allergy with the highest um, concern and be so absolutely cautious like someone could die and it's happened people have died you know there was a case uh, there are, you know people you've heard of these cases but it's happened at restaurants so i mean i'm all more also like sorry i'm all the more wanting to eat at vegan establishments because at least thank god i'm not allergic to any plant foods and i know that anything prepared there won't kill me so anyway guys I'm here, and uh, that's my crazy story, and I will never even, like, if a friend offers me something and they say that it's this, I'm not going to ever not examine the food, which might make me look cray-cray, but you know what? Better alive than, um, <laughs> and seeming cray-cray than uh, to have the alternative happen. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you have any crazy stories like that, what was your... Uh, food allergy story or anything you guys want to say about this topic, you know, just hit me up in the comments below and otherwise Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video